All right, welcome to the Flash Video Player Custom Scrubber and Controls video tutorial. Uh, this is only a sample video. This is just bits and pieces of what you can find as a part of a four and a half to five hour video tutorial located on masterflash.net. Uh, this particular video player is excellent. Uh, it shows you how to build custom scrub controls, basically anything that you could possibly need inside of a uh, fully functional video player uh, that's XML based. All right, there we go. Alright, so that'll basically be the background for this, and then of course the black will separate the controls and the video, um, which would basically be separated by the scrubber. Alright, so now that we have our controls set up, let's uh, go ahead and select all of this. Alright, let's convert it into a movie clip. Just right click on it, convert to symbol. Alright, I'm going to call this vid underscore controls. Alright. Make sure everything's set up in here. Basically, going to take this off, add a layer, bring this down, paste in place. Just call this background. Gonna lock it up. And call this controls. Ah, oh, you know what I forgot to do? We'll get to that in a little bit. All right. Um, the volume controls weren't supposed to be in here, but that's okay. We can actually add it in there. All right. Uh, so with this movie clip selected, let's go ahead and grab our properties panel. And what we need to do is give this an instance name. So we're going to call this vid underscore controls. All right. And this is going to allow us to put all of our action script inside of the same timeline instead of uh, having to come in here and basically refer this back to the... Uh, action script that's going to actually connect to the video player all right all right so let's kind of continue with these controls we're going to go ahead and set up the scrubber so for this this is going to be the scrubber background all right so i'm just going to hit f8 call this scrubber underscore bg for background all right and I'm trying to think of what we're going to call this um go ahead and convert this into a movie clip let's call this um light underscore gray underscore no not light dark underscore gray underscore fill all right hit okay and while that's selected let's go ahead and put an instance name on that i'm going to call this uh dark underscore gray underscore fill all right let's grab this one down here let's convert this into a movie clip f8 we're going to call this light underscore gray underscore fill all right go ahead and hit okay All right, and what are we going to call this? We're going to call this, uh... yeah, grab this red down here. Let's go ahead and convert this into a movie clip. Let's call this uh, vid underscore scrubber underscore MC. I feel like I'm leaving something out, and I am leaving something out. I just realized it. All right. All right, so with this movie clip right here selected, let's go ahead and call this vid underscore scrubber underscore MC alright so there's one other item that we need to add to this and it's basically somewhat of a, a dummy movie clip that we're gonna use um, alright so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drag this down a little bit alright just kinda wanna keep these in order a little bit so grab uh, I know we can grab this uh, top movie clip just hit copy alright just bring it on down here Okay, what we need to do is right click on this, duplicate symbol, we're going to call this uh, dummy underscore scrubber underscore bar, okay, hit okay, and let's go ahead and give this an instance name of dummy, or dummy scrubber underscore bar. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Is that going to work? Let's see. Yeah, this will work. This will definitely work. Okay. All right. Just make sure I got these instance names right. Vid Scrubber MC, Dummy Scrubber Bar, Dark Gray Fill. Okay, I need to give this an instance name here also. Light underscore gray underscore fill. All right, 
And I think in a second we're going to combine these two in the same movie clip. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take these two right here. All right, so what I'd like to have happen here is we need to make sure this one is going to sit on top of this one. All right, so take our light gray, slide it up. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and select both of those. Let's see, what am I going to call this? Um, all right, with these both selected right here, let's go ahead and hit F8. I'm going to call this uh, vid underscore scrubber underscore uh, filler. Is that a good name for it? Yeah, why not? Okay, so vid scrubber filler, we need to give this an instance name also. All right, so we're going to call this uh, vid underscore scrubber, underscore filler. All right. So uh, with all that done, um, the next thing that we need to do is kind of stack these the right way. All right. So basically, our background here is going to need to be on the bottom. All right. The filler is going to need to be underneath of this. And then, of course, everything else is going to have to be underneath of our uh, scrubber here. All right. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and take out the black on this. All right. So if you double click inside of the uh, dummy scrubber bar, all right, what I need to do is come in here to the alpha. You can't really see that. I'm just going to come over here to the alpha and I'm just going to drag this down to about 1%. All right. Decent like that. Come back out on the stage. You can kind of see it. Probably easier seeing on your computer. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the uh, vid scrubber filler up top here. All right. I'm going to grab the dummy button. Make sure it's on top. All right. By hitting uh, Control Up or Option Up key or Up Arrow or whatever the Mac is for uh, bringing things to the front. I'm going to bring this up to the top. Okay. All right, so now you don't have to do this, but I just kind of want to run through what we're about to do so there's no confusion or anything like that, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and separate all this stuff again. All right, so our main goal here, obviously this background doesn't have anything to do with it, okay? We're not going to be referring to this in the, in, in the actions by any means, all right? This right here, our vid scrub filler, is going to be the loading progress of the video, all right, and the playing progress of the video, okay? So basically, what's going to end up happening here is it's going to, by using this instance name, all right, we're going to refer to this movie clip to go inside of it and look for items inside of this movie clip. So our light gray fill that we need to be on top, all right, don't worry about it. I just did that just to kind of show that. So uh, our light gray fill is going to be on top because this is going to be the progress. This is the color, the color it's going to be for the progress as the video plays. Now, this one down here is going to be the progress of as the video loads. So obviously, if this is halfway full, all right, this right here is going to be back about here playing until the end. They're sort of going to be playing catch up. And I'll, see, and I'll show you what uh, I mean by that in a little bit. Well, that's basically what's going to end up happening. So we're going to refer to all these instance names, okay? And what this is, our dummy scrubber bar, is instead of being able to only grab onto this right here, okay, and slide this back and forth to where they need to, people are going to be able to click up along this part of the timeline and send this scrubber along with the video time to that certain location that they select down on in here. So that's basically what we're using this for. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, restack these. Okay, so that is the end of the custom Flash Video Player sample video. Uh, you can find the source files and any relevant material on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.